As a little child, you are a curious being, you are an experimental scientist. You want to learn, you want to research, you want to know. You love education. But one day, you were taken to school and a teacher started telling you that what education means is for you to cram what the teacher teaches you and write it back to her during a test or an exam. By the time you're done with schooling, you honestly think that you're educated. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how school makes you an illiterate. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now, in the year 2018, I watched a TV show where Americans were asked to name one book they can remember, just any book. Out of about 10 people surveyed on the street, I think only one of them was able to remember the name of a book. But Americans try. In my own country, only one out of 1,000 people read any book after they leave school. Somehow, when people go to the university and graduate with a degree, something in them tells them that they are educated and if you are educated, why bother yourself reading books any longer? The Deception About Certificate When I was about 18, I started thinking about it. Why do we judge people with the decorated paper they carry? Why do we think that someone is smart or even educated simply because he has a degree which is a mere paper? When I was 21, I left school without any certificate or degree. A degree is a god in the culture where I grew up, so everyone thought I was crazy. My brother invited me to his house and asked me, what can you do with your life without a degree? I told him that I wanted to be an entrepreneur and I wanted to teach other people how to build companies. He believed that I couldn't succeed without a degree and he seriously warned me against what I was trying to do. I believe so strongly that the number one evil in our educational system is the certificate, the degree. Because people are given this decorated paper, they somehow believe that education is in the paper. The implication of this is that students who are in school study not because they want to learn but because they want the paper and immediately after they get the paper, that's the end of education. If you think this is not true, then answer this question. Why is it that most people stop reading immediately after they leave school? The reason why most people stop reading when they leave school is because they think that they are already educated since they have the degree. The True Education For more than one decade now, I've believed that school doesn't give education. Instead, school indoctrinates. School teaches you what the industrialists want you to know. The school teaches you to be what the politicians want you to be. Let me explain. You see, there was no public school in the world for the most part of human existence. What we know as public schools today is less than 2,000 years and the foundation is greatly questionable. What we know as public education today was greatly influenced by three powers, the spiritual leaders, the industrialists and the politicians. And as you may guess, the industrialists had the last laugh because they have a lot of money to influence the system. Do you ever wonder why the school never teach you anything about money? Do you ever wonder why you were programmed to be employees? You ever wonder why little creativity is allowed? Why you only have to be like everyone and do what everyone does? Well, your education wasn't that important to the founders of the school system. What they want to achieve is to make you a laborer and as a laborer, you don't need to be creative or even educated. Just know how to obey orders. Degrees and the jobs Until recent time, a university degree is required by every employer on the planet. But that's changing so fast. For example, I own a company where nobody was ever employed because of their degree. In fact, we employed people who never finished any university. This is because what I think about education is different from what everyone thinks about it. To me, education is about self-development. Education is about skills. Education is about what you know and what you can do with what you know. Education doesn't have anything to do with the degree or the certificate. I believe so strongly that one of the ways we can have a better education system is by destroying every certificate in our schools. If children know that the employers will judge them by what they know and by the solution they can provide, they will get a true education. And even after they get the job, they will continue getting education because they know that they need to increase their values before an employer promotes them. And I think that trend has started already. According to Glassdoor, 
many big companies no longer require degrees for some of their top job positions. Companies like Google, Apple, Starbucks, Nordstrom, Bank of America now have less respect for a degree than they did in the last few years. And this is a trend I believe will go mainstream very soon. You think like an employer. Does a degree of anyone solve any problem in the workplace? No. What solves a problem is people's brain and this requires constant education. Why some people are rich Just last week, I went to a phone shop because I wanted to change my phone. And when I dropped my heavy bag, the phone seller asked me, Are you a bookseller? The reason why he asked such question was that he saw so many books in my bag that he believed only the booksellers could carry. But that's my secret. Today, I make more money than anyone we grew up together in the same environment. While I recognize the position of grace and some luck, I also understand that my progress in life was influenced mostly by books. It's very simple. When I read, I know what others don't. If you can know what others don't, you can believe in yourself the way they cannot and you can dare what they cannot dare. If you can try what others can't try, you can achieve what they cannot achieve and it's that simple. According to research from Thomas Crowley, 85% of self-made millionaires read two or more books per month. Most people in the world don't read anything after they get out of school and this is because the school has made them believe that education is the degree they carry. What if education isn't a degree? What if a degree is just a paper? What if education means learning and knowing? But that's the truth. Education isn't the degree. Education isn't the university you attended. Education is what you know and the problem you can solve with what you know. And that's infinite. You can't stop getting education because you can't know all you have to know about life. If you stop learning after school, you are an illiterate. If the last time you read a book was when you have an exam, you are an illiterate. Education outside the walls Don't be deceived that education lives inside the four walls of the school. The real education is outside the wall. Your observation of the world around you, your curiosity to question things and find answers, your eagerness to know about money, marriage, humans and life in general. That's education. Your eagerness to be the best in your industry, to read what others don't, study what they don't search. That's education. Which book are you reading now? Which books did you read last month? Which audiobook do you have on your phone? How many educative blogs and YouTube channels do you visit every month? Those school programmed you to believe that when you have a degree you are educated. The truth is that the day you stop getting an education is the day you stop taking your bath. As long as you take your bath every day, you ought to improve your mind every day. A degree isn't education. Education is a constant learning and improvement of your mind. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Are you between the ages of 15 and 40? Then we invite you to join our new channel which was specially created to share with you inspiration and life's lessons to succeed in life. We call it Under 40 TV. Kindly look at the description box to join the Under 40 TV. We love you.